Boy, Janon Circus Restaurant. Yes, I know who is in the Dimbal. Number Domoro Kara Janno. Domoro Seneata, Adiata, Topotoro, and Kendama Bigi. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijani, Adimanda Wallet, Teka Vijele, and Impan Kafa di Jan Ukonoefa. A government of pastry and in bakery. Ukonan Bekalin. Badé lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fo fendi lo dunia ko no domoro betama ñil lom international oti wada number 1 amanke ba domoro jang dama e sa domo jang is atari ya a wo mu ku bandi sa na ko sa futandi e oto sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant dama na jang na mu yat ni manje do rombi jang aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction Communication, connectivity. Very yes, I'm a lamin dab of his organ. The hood was placed over your head. You bought off Bune Moda. By then, you saw Bombardier. You knew a Bombardier or Jelen. And two other people, and you were tortured in that office. And the office of Konoja Libaye. Do you recall saying that? For your clothes, I'm going to go for an uncommon and an imbita for you. Yes. You said these were the that was the only person you knew among them. Bombardier and another person called Lamin, you had his name being called. Is that correct? Yes. How did you come to know Bombardier? Bombardier, I don't know Bombardier. I didn't know him before, but it was at the NIA that I, I saw him and I had people calling him Bombardier, Bombardier. Uh, the reason why I ask this question is as at the time you were in detention, Bombardier was also in detention. Bombardier from the Morocco. So he could not have been the person to torture you. Uh, what do you say to that? You must have been for tomorrow. I don't know him personally, but somebody called Bombardier was there. I saw him standing. Uh, you see, uh, on the 9th of June, 2010, Bombardier appeared before the High Court on charges of treason. 
Bombarde ya samba kiti bu nyati ngo na tumiro la memu jamfa ya kiti tumiro ndi. So at in 2010 Bombarde pretty much resided at mile 2 prison. Bombarde 2010 sa ngo na watu la ka sabu ngo to memu mile 2. I have the report report of the alleged coup d'etat of 2009 2009 tumiro tumiro nyenye me le kam kuleta ko ni langtambong tamba bombardier alaya scouse camera and others were charged with treason damer to damen to langtambong tamba ni kausu bomba kausu camera ka fa bombardier ni do ko tangol da be tumiro kay to tumiro men to nam ko detati so they were all in prison and he could not have been the person to torture you at the NIA. Do you imagine what all the bombardment what all the no case bomb to no rata keno la modi ata keno la modi men better lo ma be no dingira ni do itar take bute wato men. What do you say to that? Ye muna so dey men follow wato. Se keno bombardment to men bombardment lo ban bombardment to moy jele. It could be. I don't know bombardment but I had people calling the name bombardment there. Uh, and uh, would you accept that uh, uh, this may be a case of mistaken identity? Ko ebe son na nyin na ko fo nyin be kala kula de meya lon ko ye mo le sude meya lon ko amanke o moti. Man ja mo ta de ko sun fana ma fo bombarde le liba. Well I cannot take that part because I didn't say that he was the person who beat me. Uh, but of course the insinuation uh, the suggestion is there that the people who were in the room with you uh, including the person you identified as Bombardier <laughs> and the people who actually tortured you. Ibeson ni nyimala ko. Ibeson ni nyimala ko yi tan diro me yi tan ni. Wolam nyi diko molla men be ma be mo bon nyin kono je. Abe kono je Bombardier do Bombardier Bombardier to be jere and mo mo le le tarda mo kono me ran ko le le bon nyin kono. Ni son ta je la bar Bombardier to na Bombardier lo ne bar mo Bombardier well, I, I can accept that, but I cannot even identify the person who is bombarded. I cannot point him out to anybody. Because I didn't know him before. Okay. In view of the information I just provided you about the fact that Bombardier was in detention at the time and could not have participated in your torture, would you now accept uh, that Bombardier was not one of your torturers? Eh, kasi yun yung haling kabi kibaro lang ang mendi na yung member sa yun yung Bombardier na kwa lang. Kung wato men na ito betar na ibibigyo kung yung mga bili pa kung Bombardier o wato lang kasi bumotole. At ang mga mo at ang mga mo timay alang kabi maderin ng dingkirat o kung yung kona tati mude kung kung yung member kona yee. Pero sa naong mga Unte jabe koe soto no lauto because unte lauto dami to wale mam bombardelo so ilson ta auto lo mam so auto lo mam bombardelo matu mo le bombarde. Well, there's something which I cannot accept because I don't know bombarde. I cannot identify him. But what I had at that at that time was someone was being called as bombarde. So this is how I also came to uh, uh, know that this person. Uh, he's bombarded. That's all what I know about him. Uh, in essence, in that room, in the office of Lamin Dabo, you do not know the identities of the people who tortured you. For Hanin Kabi, Office of Konome Mu Lamin Dabo, Office of Konome Konoje, Hanin Kabi, Amang Sene, Mambate, Ima Long, Mu Lamin Dabo, 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 Mambate, Ima Long, Yes, I don't know them. Um, thank you very much. So uh, now let's move on. Uh, you have talked about several torture sessions. So, and you told the commission that you agreed to sign a statement. And we are for commission where in that now son make a kite would sign on the day. Your child was taken upstairs by Omar Chan. Lumumen na idim mani ya samba bunjang o santo, may ya samba je wala mo kilindi ka me Omar Chan. And in your testimony, you said he threatened you that if you do not give them what they want by signing this statement, 
then you would not see your child again. And we are in for coming somewhere. Let's say that you know, go. If you come here, you see that you are going to go. You are going to go. If you are going to go, you are going to go. If you are going to go, is that your testimony? For what we are saying, that you are going to go. Okay. Yes. Is this the truth? What am I going to go? What am I going to go? Yes, that's the truth. You are on the oath. That's the truth. Uh, now uh, let's proceed. But before all, okay. before all this time, but then you knew what would be. You have had other encounters at the NIA where you have seen boxes being brought. Yeah, in yes, yes, talking your more word, then you say no loss or any more tema jere. Damn it, Alan Coy, you box for Dolje. Can you tell us about it? For Kuma Fonya, if I see Kuma Fonya, you will go Yes. Please proceed. And then you have one. Boxes, if I do What kind of boxes? In your statement, you told us that some soldier came to the NIA carrying a box. Ya Kuma Kama, remember suffering, you have one. Soldier, you don't have the NIA, you have a box. And you assisted in carrying the box. And we did Maroc ya la purka o boxo ni nisika. Is that true? Form tonya jibak. Okay. Yes. Kindly tell us the story about this box and the contents. Silang kuma fanya ni boxo la kuoro ane muna be boxo ni nkono. Boxo ni nuno amun kasi ni akilenda ufuna tena mera kasi ni asaba. The case of these boxes was not only once. I think it was up to three times. The first time that this man came with that box, box, I don't know whether he was in a hurry, but he came to my room. He left the box there. But I saw the box being shaken around like it was it was moving. So I never found you. I'm not sure you are somebody who is a normal office. In the capital, the science side. Then he told me, "Help me and take this box to Numo's office because me, I am going away right now." I'm not in a box. I'm not sure you are somebody who is a normal office. I took up the box and took it to Numo's office. Who was this soldier? Mala Munini soldier or the man you info? I put it in box for somebody. Not known the name, but I remember at this very moment. I knew his name before, but I cannot remember it now. Does the name Farin ring a bell to you? Near Farin to my voice, it could be my name. Maybe I'm Farin. Maybe I'm Farin. Farin. Maybe it could be in Farin. Farin. In Farin what? Farin yari. Yara or Kebe. Yara or Kebe. One of those. Could it also be Jabang? Fala kira Jabang fana ngapa? Yeah, Fali Jabang. Yes, Fali Jabang. Yes. Jabang Fadera Kebe. Fali is correct. Fali is correct. Do you know the which which institution he worked for? Yeah, na bedo kula bedo kubunda juma lava. Na memo si chote la ninge kafanya eka bedo kula state guard. What I heard from the other security people there. Was that he was one of the state guards personnel? In your statement, you said this guy was an officer called Jabang. Jabang. Mfali is the name. And would you agree or would you say that his last name is Jaban? For say a bar full of an ever son that I will condom with Jaban. I am not a whole bit suffering because now no man remember I am so in the muscle contacts around I am so for an attack Jaban to for and for it. Well, if that is what is written, it could be because his wife had contact with my wife and his wife used to say something, a show name like Java. Uh, do you know what eventually happened to him? After some months, after some months, after some months, this person in question was also detained at the NIA there. So we have now a Fali 
Mfali, who worked with state guards and was subsequently detained at the NIH. Il a Mfali tous autres gens, mais à longue date, donc voilà state guard, mais mon masala masala corda barote, ni à la bonne ni à la fin de mon voyage, c'est le NIH. So this guy, ni mari, came to the NIH headquarters. Anara NIH la corda baro. And he carried a box. Ani ni kuna odo, ani box odo, kuna odo, yola. And you said he left the box in the room that you were. What did he do when he put the box in your room? Among the box in your room, because the reception of the business, the most demanding reception of it, then it can do the job. Among the family, the matter. Why you can kill several times? That happens there several times because the reception is always busy. So sometimes when there are a lot of people around at the reception, some of them will come into my room and go. So the same thing happened with him. Uh, that how that's how he was at the reception. Uh, uh, not once, not twice. It happens, and that's how he came into my room with that box. Could you give us a, an indication here? Uh, Is it the or the setup, uh, your office, your, sorry, the room you occupied, and the reception. Can you give us an indication here what the setup was so that we can have an understanding? Office, eh, of eh, reception, wala mi kadunta wala jia damendo ni nata. Ani te bumbu 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 mengkono. Aba lori nyadi le. Fusi tamansero, isa tamansero ni nyajamba. Isa tamansero. Yes, I can. Go ahead. Ten ten, ya ya itandi nya. Me, me sabe ni ni tabu mo fia ke almost one meters from the door. So almost if you move that table and put it at place almost one meter from the door. Let the record indicate the table of the executive secretary. But we suffer only poor at the end. The poor na suffer lang in the table over the executive secretary la table over. And the door he is referring to is the exit into the commissioner's conference room. And don't give a bunda man na wala niyente commissioner ka finding anin bunda man na ba te ka dum anin bunda man na. Like that will be part of the main hall, but on the side uh, uh, will be the area where uh, my room was located. And the witness indicated where the um, uh, 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 how do you call it the the interpreter. Uh, the interpreters are located. Yes, just he pointed towards where we are sitting. Yes. Monday, two days ago, diamond of fun, and I was in diamond of mafia. I was in the corner of the city, diamond of mafia. In coma, I'm going to get a maracarola. That place you occupied. What was it? The building here, I'm going to get. Be sure to bring diamond. I'm going to get. 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 Well, they just placed me in that room, but I don't know what room it was or what room it is. Was it an office? Was it a cell? Or was it just a waiting area? Office. 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 I cannot right. say that. Did it have a desk? No, it's not in the office. Did it have a mattress? I love lost of Sirang beli, sirang beli, sirang beli ringjat barang fon lekas sirang malam di jam. Matlas di sisan beringjat. Yes, you have some matlas which were placed against the wall, and as for the chairs, it is we ourselves who bring in chairs into the room there. Okay. Why did Jabang O Mfali leave the box there in your in your room? Mana yang sabu Mfali Jabang? Mana yang sabu? Ayah ni box sol nadi ayat tu ibu bunga mengkono. I don't know. But he eventually he asked you to take it to Kujabis Numo Kujabis office. Baik aku muda aku ni nyala bang. Nara na foye puriya samba Numo Numo Kujabis office okon. Why didn't he do it himself? Mana yang sabu? Ada fon kunjung mak ayah faye kasamba ni. Mak ayah fon fon dia. Aku abe how dia rende nasi samba Numo office. I, I said that a little bit earlier. He said he was in a hurry, and he asked me to take it for him to Numo's office. But weren't you a stranger to him? But if I don't mind, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. 
Fali came there several times and he used to see me there. Were you familiar with each other? In a Delta New Alaba? No, I'm not in New Alaba. I'm not in the jail. Well, we are not that acquainted, but he came there many times and he used to see me there. It would take a great deal of trust, wouldn't it? To, to just entrust such a box to someone that is hardly familiar to you. In the NIA, a lot of things used to pass through that room which was not only in Fali. Well, we will come to that. But you said this box was moving. Did you eventually know why the box was moving? Yes. I came to know through Mfali's own words. I asked him finally, what is inside this box? Then he told me that this box contains a baby. Was the baby alive? Then I Yes, Yes, uh, in one way, yes, but in another way, it could be because I didn't look inside the box. No, on this, let's. First, talk about this particular instance. The first instance came with the box and left the box with you. You said the box was moving. Why was the box moving? Well, I asked him, Mufali, your box is moving. Is it a foul inside there or what is inside this box? He said, yes, it is a baby which is inside this box, but help me and take it to Numo's office. And what did you do? I went out and I also went out. Where did you go? I went to the office. I went to Numo's office. With what? Numo. The box, I took it to Numo's office. Did you see what was inside? I didn't see what was inside because I didn't open the box, but the box was moving. Um, did you hear any particular noise being made apart from the movement? That also happened, but this was, that was another time, different from this first time. So, did this event happen in 2009? I can't remember that. Rather, you, sorry, you were arrested in 2010. So it would have been in 2010. Yes. You were arrested in 2010. 2010. I can't remember the year. Well, I can tell you it's 2010 because I have your statement here. The statement you gave to the NIA. It was in 2010. And it was in fifth, on the 15th of uh, April 2010 that you wrote the statement. And uh, it was signed on the 5th of May, 2010. And we are signed May 2010. 
Yes, it was done on the 15th of April, not April 5th. April Karotin Tanganin Nula, Monkey April Nula Tanin Nula. You agree? It's on Taliban. I remember some because Amman can tell a statement. I don't agree to that because this was, that was not my statement. Are you disputing the date? The document was done. I'm talking about the contents. I'm not talking about the date. I'm talking about the date. I'm talking about the date. I'm talking well, this, the reason for disputing this is what is written in that document is not my statement. So the date written on the document is a day which I cannot remember. But you still dispute that your arrest was in 2010. <laughs> Remember. I'm not disputing the date, but I said I cannot remember the date. Yes, but you are now being reminded. Right. It was in 2010. 2010 is No, No, I'm not disputing, yes, but the day itself is what I cannot remember. But I agree that I went to jail. All right, I will check it online. The newspapers hardly lie about date of events. Uh, just a moment, I would, it will still come, it will soon come up. It's not a controversial issue, but I would just want to tell you that this event happened in 2010. You agree? It's on Taliban. No, I'm not disputing that. But it's the day, it's the, uh, it's the date I cannot remember. Okay. All right. So on this occasion, you went to Numoku Jabi's office. You have this box in your possession. And then what did you do? You office. On that first occasion, I took it to Numo's office. I gave it to him. Then I left his office. How did you give it to him? I just went and placed it inside his office. Where was Numo at the time? Numo was in the office there. Did he see you? Yes. Did you have a conversation with him? On the first day, we didn't, we didn't exchange any words. He didn't tell me anything. What did you do with the box? I just placed it inside his office. Did you show him that you were placing a box in his office? Yes, he was sitting down looking at me. So you uttered no word? What I said was, they told me to bring this for you. He told me, put it down. Did you hear the baby cry? That also happened, but not on that first day. So this particular day, you just, the baby was moving in the box, but no cries. Yes, and you did not open the box to see the baby. No. If you see the baby, you will see the baby. No. In your honest statement, you are on the oath. Did Fali O Jabang, O Fali Jabang, O Fali Kebe, O Fali Fadera, did the person tell you 
Did the person tell you that it was a baby inside, inside the box? Tilemu kono, ebe karole kono. Fu, fali jama, fu fali farera, fu fali nyadi le, fu aya fu niko, nimbox wako na mbeji wale mdeni ano diba. Ado. Yes. And you could see the movement or you could feel the movement of the box. And the box when you hear the jingle, you have a mumbling. Ah. Yes. Where in the office did you place the box for Mr. Kujabe? In box when you, Mr. Kujabe, me move, no more Kujabe of second. Yeah, London office second of me do my fun. Yeah, London office second of Marakarola. When you are London, the box is London. If you enter his office on the left hand side. In the room there, he told me to put it down there. That's where I placed it. When was the next time? Mm, you see that when I moved, you see that doctor came out. After a few weeks, after. I think that took place after a few weeks. And what happened? You know what happened? Same time, an inbox on another. The same time, he came with a box. What time of the day was it? Hello, Montero, you are here, ma'am. I think it's someone that you know that. It always happens early in the morning. Like what time? I cannot uh, uh, estimate the time, but I know that it is in the early hours of the morning. But what does early hours of the morning mean to you? It means that you are not in the Early in the morning, that's before 9 o'clock. Before people go to work, and the mall people, and people call. have already gone to work. Or later. Then the mall is half before 9. I can say before 9. Then the mall is half before 9. before 9. I can say before 9. When it happened, did it all happen at the same time or at around the same time? When you go to the mall, 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 you go to well, I cannot say that it could all to play at the same exact time because I don't check time because I was just I was not sitting there to check on them or check on time. We want to know. Uh, we all know commission would start in the morning, not early in the morning. So on these events, did it all take place in the morning? Laftar kalau kalau nak buat semua orang jangan ni bersila kasi soman dal lah. Jom ngalor nak buat soman dal Juno ni. Fu aku ni nak main hotel minum. Fu aku kita waktu kiri mula bang soman dal lah. Jom aku remember all kita soman dal. One side kan remember all two plays in the morning. All three events. Ni sinya sabul be. Hakilo mal bu. Five. Ni sinya full aku kita soman dal. Five. Ni kita full aku main kal. Ni hakilo mal main muda. Five. Kan remember tu kiri mula. If I, if I can remember properly, these first two incidents took place in the morning, but I know it all happened. So tell us about the second incident. Second time was it was also a box. Okay. How many boxes? Boxy One. I, I also took that box to Numo's office, but that was the time inside Numo's office I had the baby crying in the box. Inside the office? Office or in corner? office Inside Numo's office. Yes. And uh, on this occasion, why were you in the most office? When I entered the most office, he told me to sit down. Yes. When I entered the most office, he told me to sit down. 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 He told me whatever object we bring into this office, never talk about it and let nobody ever hear it from you. What was he referring to? It means that the box that I brought in there. Was he talking about the box or the contents of the box? The box was in the kumalo foka, but for me the box was in the kumalo foka. The box was the same, the box was in the kumalo foka. Well, it is the box that I took there, but whatever is in the box, he didn't mention particularly what is in the box. He just said the box. 
what I'm driving at. What did he not want you to talk about? Was it just the box? box a, a a set, or the contents of the box? He did not want you to talk about. What I think is that it is the content of the box. Because I had the child crying in the box. That was the second time. Yes. You left the box there. Yes. On this second occasion, who took the box to the office? The same person. Same person. Who is the person? Did he require your assistance to take the box into that office? I can do can he build the bomb for your name or put a box on his number office on your number? Yes. But it was only one box. But a box kilo in the box kilo box box uh box double the one not pushing a full of some doubt. A box full of some. Two he brought two boxes, but there was a third one also. No. Uh he brought two boxes, but that was on the third occasion. That's what you said, right? I box full of nati, but I box full of nati in the so the second equation, it was only one box. box killing And on that occasion, did he require your help to take the box to the most office? Because I can the bank de ma yo box of office. Yes, he asked me to help. So that was the day when I had the baby crying inside the box when I took it into the most office. So what were you helping to do? office to take the box into Numo's office because the man who brought it had already left. So on each of those two occasions, in floor B, he left the box with you and he left. Yes. And this was early in the morning. Yes, in the morning. Before work. I cannot say that, but it happens in the morning. I know that people come early to the NIA office. The, word I, the issue I have is that uh, he did not go to Numo's office because there were many people there and in the reception. That's what you said earlier, isn't it? Yes. But that could not have happened early in the morning. Because people would not have been at work. At that moment, but even from seven o'clock. Uh, except for those who are not at the NIA working, but people used to be there as early as 7 o'clock. And the place is full of people? Reception? Full of people? The place is full of reception. The place is full of reception. The place is full of reception. In those days, NIA is always full. In those days, NIA is always full. That's your testimony. What do you say there? What do you say there? What do you say there? And when was the third occasion? It took some time before the third occasion. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. He came with two boxes. And he came with two boxes. He came with He came with two boxes. 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 He told me, help me and take one of the boxes and convey me to Numo's office. So we all went together to Numo's office. I placed the box down and I left them inside the office. I left him with Numo in the office. Was there any conversation? I didn't have anything. Uh, I didn't discuss with them anything. On 
that occasion, Olumuni, did you hear or did you hear the baby cry in the box? So yeah, I'm going to be in another combo combo box when you go over. No, for no, for no, look at the occasion for now. In Hakilo Mambo. That was during the second occasion, as I said here before. How about the third occasion? Did the baby baby cry? Sinya sabanya onyindo. For the na onyindo kumbo taraba. For now, say keno. But in Hakilo Mambo, we just follow. It could be, but I cannot remember exactly. So, on the third occasion, what assistance did you provide? I just helped him to take up one of the boxes. Any boxes were there? Any? Come again. How many boxes were there? Box jelly benunje. Box full of boxes. And how many of the boxes did you carry? The box general sika. One. And what happened to the other? Mara kila kilin dola. Kafanya dola sika. He himself took the other box. So, did you? You said that Mr. Jaban or Mfali. You call Mr. Jaban or Adam Mfali. Was later arrested and brought to the NIA. Kwa ni nyala ba ni ni nara na dafanya muda le ya na the NIA. Did you have a conversation with him? Oh, ina ina e kachia soro leba. Ade? Yes. What did he tell you? I'm not aware. Famo na ta o o watu bekele ndeko ika mule ika dindo mule samalanjang from here matodo fana kana ika maki samba. What he told me in the conversation was that they used to bring these babies there, and another vehicle will come to pick up these babies and take them away. Did he say where the babies were coming from? I have found that Nindi na nuni ni kabona mintu wale. Hakilo mo tomar barunem falle kachaja mal deke. I cannot remember that, but I had a lot of discussions with Mfali. Did he say where the babies were taken to? I have found that Fana Nindi na nuni ki isamba mintu wale Fana. In Hakilo je muda. If I can remember properly, he told me that they used to take these babies to H.E.'s place in Kanilai. Did he use a particular word to suggest to you that it was being taken to H.E. in Kanilai? Yes, I cannot, if I, if I remember properly, that could be. What do you remember? That's just what I said a few, a few seconds ago. Did you ask him any other questions? No. Do you know? To what use the babies were put? So, yara nindi na nuning. Iki muna fan la ila munda munda lila. Muna fan la ila. I don't know that. The difficulty I have. Kole ya mensa ronya. Is that you seem not to be able to remember much of what you said in your statement about this issue. Amunda amunda la ko amunda ngifi la ko ku jamal beje me ya ronko suji da nyung ko la jamal beje ko ka fole hakilo ma muda yi nyina talal. And this is a particular troubling incident or incident. Yi mu kulal me ya ronko ku data bala me ya ronko akita. Ah os finance to tale because inta mantara mi famo la situation to because the Kujamale Taki Mentambita. Well, uh, what uh, caused that is that uh, at that time, sometimes I am not myself because of the hardships I encountered there. Let me read out to you what you said in your statement. Sayim, but now for Yakumakamu Menu for Ila Kaiti Savarimoto. On the third occasion, Sinya Sabanja Wanyi, he came with two boxes. And in a box full of nata. 
and he came to the room where I was while carrying a box. And said, Mr. Samate, come out. Mr. Samate, Go to my vehicle and bring the other box. I pushed the box and realized that there was a baby inside. And the baby was in alive. We took the boxes to Numo's office. That's what you said in your statement. That's what you said. That's what you said a minute ago. Well, still now, it could be the same, because I didn't say that for the third occasion, the baby was crying. Unfortunately, Mr. Samate, that's what you said. Between Mr. Samate, I can talk to you about it, but you only for me. You said, on the third occasion, too, the baby was crying. Eko, sinya sabanja o nyinfanan, dena no nyinbe kumbo kane, dena no nyin kumbo tale. Inside, no mo kujabi surface. No mo kujabi la office o kono. Asekyo? Yes. I don't remember it. That could be. I, I cannot remember everything. But this thing happened on three occasions. Right. And uh, you said later on. And pretended that you for Wakola. Jaban got arrested and was brought to NIA. Wakola no ye Jaban fango fana muta ya nati NIA. I asked him, what do they do with those babies? Na nyinika alikamune ke ode na nolula. And from where did they have them? And um, alike bundi na mintole. You told the investigators that, correct? Yeah, for kisikisir lali ene. Okay. Yes. What, what answer did he give you? Ate ye jabi mune labiri ya njini nkawala. No, remember jabi ya njabi mene. I cannot remember what jabi replied. Well, that too is a bit troubling. Kofana nketa kola ya koti de. Because this is very important information. You agree that this would be very important information. Yes, I agree. And if he told you that they collected them in Sukuta, you would have been able to remember that, wouldn't you? It could be that I, I will also forget that. That would be quite strange, wouldn't it? Because this would be very vital information. That's true. But in this case, did he tell you of an arrangement, of a method of doing things? Jabang told me many things, but Jabang also has his own family. And he has children of his own in this country with his wife. We are not talking about Jabang's family or his wife or his children. We are talking about the conversation we had, you had with him. What did he tell you about the working arrangements concerning the babies? I cannot remember all in my in my mind. Even if I remember all of it, I will not be, I will, I, I'm not ready to divulge all of what he said to me here because I know that he is also a family man. Uh, Mr. Witness, are you hiding behind, behind confidentiality in order to, 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 to uh, masquerade some of the deficiencies in your statement? Say, 
I, I, it's not part of hiding or trying to hide, hide myself behind uh, privacy uh, about Jabang, what he told me. But I also know that there are some things that Jabang told me, which I cannot narrate here, because I know that Jabang also is a family man. He has relatives in this country. But if you want still, we can write everything down on a paper and, 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 and uh, hand it over. Uh, yes, we, we would be happy to have you write it down. Uh, you can uh, uh, have one minute with uh, Mr. Kambi. Turn off the microphone, microphone and, and write the information on a piece of paper. And you sign it. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Feel free to, to put the information to them in whatever language you want, English, Dutch, well, sorry, no Dutch, English, Mandinka, whatever. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Uh, for your information, uh, I believe that Mfali Jabang of the state guards is late. Uh, uh, that is the information I have. I will confirm that later. But uh, for what it is worth, uh, 
the information you have provided here is very important. And it is information that the Commission should know. And the public should also know. I will provide it to the chairman. Let him take a look at it. And see whether this is worth keeping confidential. Because we have had wars. Publicly. And violations of a similar gravity. Or perhaps it's not so useful to keep this confidential. I'll provide it to the chair. And he would advise whether this is something you should be able to say publicly. Uh, so let's leave it in the hands of the chair. But upon reflection, do you think that this is something you should be able to say publicly? If you are inclined to say it publicly, then it would not be necessary for the chair to make a ruling on it. What do you say? Do you want to say it publicly? And so it may not, sorry to interrupt, it may not be necessary at all. The information contained there is very important. We've heard it before. The public should know what it is. It's nothing personal for him um, uh, uh, that you need to uh, hold back a little bit. Either he reads them, uh, the thing how he explains it, or you go ahead and uh, read what is um, written. It is important for the, uh, for the public to know what's in that um, uh, note. For Please yes, proceed sir. accordingly. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you. So, what did he tell you? Where did he say the babies were taken from? Sorry. The hospital. They are taken from the hospital. Did he identify a particular hospital? He didn't mention the hospital, but he said that some women who pass away during delivery, during childbirth, huh? during childbirth or delivery, they pick those people's uh, babies. Then from NIA, yes, I'm not attend the. These babies are brought to the NIA and later picked from the NIA and they take them to Yaya Jamis place in Kanilai. For what? For Muna. Sacrifice, sac sacrifice. For uh, sacrifice, to sacrifice them. That is your testimony. What am I say down the road?
So this is what Fali told you. You are on the earth. Yes, this is what Fali told me. And you saw the babies with your own eyes. I saw them with my own eyes. You carried the box of the boxes containing the babies. Yes. 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 You know the seriousness of this accusation. That the, that the president of this country was taking babies from hospitals and to take them to prison to carry life for human sacrifice. Uh, well, Mr. Chair, it, it looks like we don't have a witness for a moment. We have to uh, give the witness the chance to recuperate from the situation. It's a deeply troubling issue. Uh, if this is true, it shows how bad our society had gone. But we have to hear the testimony, and the Commission would make its findings on the evidence and uh, the the investigations team would uh, give this issue some special uh, treatment, will give it priority, and will investigate it further uh, with a view to seeing whether we can find any corroboration for this. lead council Nimukulet <laughs> Isi tenteng ye nyinko kisi kisi ka kese meti. Hani founi ya ajaba kese wato fo. Ala bangula fo ibita sere la kibar kang. Me ya alonko wosike kibar doti kabo karadola. Mensi nyinko moto nya ayandi no. Puru isa long me momenti. Amunta lit kanzo kwa wale futa. Ni ya kese meti. Ya ajaba kese meti. I like that. Welcome back, Mr. Witness. Bismillah, sir. Are you comfortable to proceed? Yes. Are you comfortable to proceed? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, and just to remind you uh, that uh, it is important that we get to the absolute truth. That has happened. And I'll go back to that issue. And forgive me. If it triggers certain disturbing reactions. But it is absolutely important that we get this correct. 
Your testimony is that this state guard officer brought babies to the NIA and he told you afterwards that the president of the Republic of the Gambia Republic of the Gambia the president of the his Excellency Al Haji Yahya AJJ Jame. His Excellency Al Haji Yahya AJJ Jame was taking babies from hospitals. Abedina nol taka ngulo na lopita nol to transport them through the NIA. Yesamba na NIA korda baro and use them for human sacrifice. Ake kanila. Ake ta ake muna feila ke ke na sacrifice muna ke bo ke kisadalti. That is your testimony. Wala mila siya dyan diroti. Yes. On the oath, yes. you swear that this is the absolute truth. This is the absolute truth. Yes. 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 You told us that lots of things, terrible things, happened at the NIA. Yes. 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 Yes.
Welcome back, uh, Mr. Witness. C'est do Bismillah, Kotenke. Are you okay now? Ebe sambul de bang, saim bang. Are you happy to proceed? Ebe si wole na babu katentem bang. We have your blessings on that. Eh nga 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 dunyo sa dora. Is that a yes? Wala mo hati bang. Thank you very much. Inubara. I want to discuss a few topics before we finish. One is things you were showed at the NIA premises which was intended to scare you to give a statement. If you want to talk about it, we can go. We can go ahead. If you don't want to, we have your statement. The next thing we want to talk about. How your statement was finalized. The eventual court proceedings. And how you managed to subsequently leave the country. And then we would give you an opportunity to, to uh, say your closing remark. Are you willing to proceed in this manner? Yes. Yes. Uh, You, during your interrogation, you said you were tortured on several occasions to give a statement. Was there an occasion where you were sued things? For what in answer on the jail, but what all the men were going to do? Aimed at scaring you into giving a statement. Yes. Do you want to tell us about it? Yes. It's your choice to say it. Under the circumstances, or to just let us go by what is on the statement. I want to talk about it. Please go ahead. And then you have. They showed me many things. After they beat people, it was always me who used to clean the upstairs room on many occasions. When the Ndeleka Mola remained in Ngatara Dolu Fata, or Yadolu Kuntu, Ndeleka Yarada remained in Sikakeke Boto Rukon. Sometimes after they deal with people, for example, if some die during that torturing session, it is me who will pack them up because sometimes they cut people, I will take those pieces and put it in a bag. Delicate around, a country some around car remained in Tandina. It is me who they usually take around to show me parts of a human being like a human head. Omar Cham did it maybe up two times, up to three times. Omar Cham did that. Show me a human head. If you refuse to tell us what we need, we will do the same thing to you and throw your remains in a soccer way. I've seen pieces of human flesh. I saw human hands which were cut off. I've seen people whose eyes were removed from their sockets. There is nothing which I have not witnessed at the NIA. In, uh, in the torturing of people. How many 
times where you sought this human head, you said? What did you say? It was even more than three to four times. Three to four times. Yeah. 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 Where did this incident happen? Where at the NIA did it happen? Nyukul kita minta oleh NIA je. NIA mostly coma. NIA most of the time behind. And this human heads. Nyukul. Of what race and what sex? Nyukul. 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 No, no difference given because nyam antara nyam pare nyam nyam wa kam fongalo mwame si fa fong nyam fongalo. I didn't uh, check that difference because when they show me these things, uh, I don't even like to look at it to, 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 to be able to understand or, or ascertain whatever is in front of me. But did you see it? But I saw it. And you were able to say with certainty that these were human heads. So they said that it was very clear to me that this is a human head. In all three human heads. Yes, they are all human heads. Decapitated. Yes, Yes, they were decapitated. Were they freshly caught or these are heads that have been kept for a while? Probably there was one occasion which I saw and I am sure, clearly sure that it was just a freshly caught head. Man or woman? And, and, and it was clear to me that that person was a male. And who did you say showed you these uh, uh, decapitated heads? Omar showed it to me on two occasions. You said you were showed this around three or four occasions. Who was responsible for the other occasions? No, no, no. I don't know those people. How did it come for those people to show you those, those decapitated heads? I don't know those They used to come to me and find me sitting and they'll tell me, Silaba, go and answer. Okay. And... Uh, then what would happen? Then I always go with them to know why they are calling me. And then what would happen? And when that happens, sometimes, on some occasions, I have to collect human hands, put them in a bag, or human legs, put them in a bag. And this is your testimony on the earth. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, uh, in the past, so eventually you agreed to give a statement. Yes. Uh, could you take a look at this document? Yes. 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 And look at the signature, and you will tell us whether this was the statement that you gave. And we have a signature on your phone, and you will have a signature on your phone. I have on your phone. It is a signature on your sign. It is a signature on your sign, but statement on your phone can't be. I signed the document, but the statement is not my statement. And why did you sign the statement? When I saw the signature on your sign. The balloon is a signature on your phone. I am not going to be able to sign it. I was between life and death, and it was not me alone, it was me and my child. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, but in the end, after giving this statement, did you appear in court? Uh, yes. And uh, tell us how that happened. Jadi lalu, jangan berita kita itu lalu. 
Well, whenever a day has been chosen for uh, the trial, I used to go to Lamindabo. He will help and uh, teach me and tell me what is written on the paper. In a sense, you are telling us that he was schooling you. As yes. to how and what you would testify to in court. Yes. yes, not only Lamin Dabo, DPP Chenge also. I used to sit down with Chenga and Lamin Dabo. He will ask me and tell me, if I ask you this, this is how you are going to respond to my question. And did you do that? You okay. Okay. <coughs> yes, I did that. And did you testify? Yes, I did and that. Did you complete your testimony? No. Why? Because when I was built, that's the time when I left the country. How did you get bailed? I discussed this bill with DPP Chenge and my sister, my younger sister. And then they told me, if I can do a certain thing for them, then I'll be able to get a bill. And what was that certain thing that you were asked to do in exchange for bail? Well, that uh, I, I took out a lot of money which I gave to DPP Chenge. He asked for a bribe. Is that what you're telling the Amunda Yes. How much? It was a lot of money. I cannot recall now how much. It was, it was, it was more than a million. A million what? A million dollars. A million dollars. Your statement said $500,000? It was more than that. Oh, it was more than that. So, it was not only once that I gave him money. I gave him money several times. So, you telling this commission that DPC Chenge demanded that you bribe him over a million dollars for him to arrange for your bail. Muntai kama mfuko komisiono wa wale mnyinti kwa DPP chenge, wale yekani ndoa kila kuya duku kudola, mimi bidha for mimi besi ala million kudoti dalaso, puru i a beliro kuling ya topotoe. Do you realize how serious this accusation is? Yenin kala muda la ba nyuko nyinga la jawi a nyi benyama mbwa nyutumiro nyia lo na la jawi a benyama mbwa. Yes. And this is your testimony on the oath. This is my testimony. Uh, who gave him the money? I personally took some to him, and Lamin Dabo took some money to him too. And my wife also took some money to him. Uh, which Lamin Dabo are you talking about? Lamin Dabo and I. What role did he play in that deal? Lamin Dabo ate mu silale tamandi wakoro, wakono. Wakodo samba DPP Chenge. Just to carry money to DPP Chenge. Was he a simple courier or he was a courier with interest? Fwa mu mwoldi mea longo wa bejele drongu ka kuonyi tamandi, fenta ejeba mfwa be kuonyi tamandi kama wada fana mnafaba ejeba. As a camera driver, I did not know by that time. It could be possible that he also has an interest, but I didn't know that at that time. Do you know whether he received any part of the money? No, I was not aware of that. Did you have to bribe him any NIA officer? Yes, I did. Did you have to bribe any NIA Did you have to bribe any NIA officers? Yes, I did. Did you have to bribe any NIA officers? 
demanded a lot of money from me. Assistance. And these, uh, sometimes they come to me and ask for assistance. Ah, then, and I will give them money. A public officer cannot, should not, and must not receive financial benefits from people under their custody, from eh, people under their charge. Who have you given money to? Any of them?
And what happened to the to the compound? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've got back the compound. What has Kitty Auto? Who can the family base it? Until a family and been defended and nothing killing Mantar and Cotta, bring another bank of an entire Kitty or who can the family base it? When I was released, uh, by that time they, they had already taken all my things. But when I returned back into the country, I went to court to be able to regain all my lost possessions, including the property forfeited through through jumping of bail. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chair, I would uh, leave it at that, but before I go, uh, you say that the statement that you gave was false. When you are It is not true. It is not something that I stated. They wrote it and brought it to me and told me this is what we want you to say. And the statement is that uh, you are selling substances uh, and passing them off as cocaine and uh, you scamming people of their money. I'm going to come out to you in a foco. It will be filled with African for me a cocaine. No. Uh, they were selling substances like flour and passing it off as cocaine. And you're claiming that you were do you were you were given these substances by the president. And we begin for Kanko. May you were fellow deal and come and wife when ya president will you deal. So people would pay you the money, but they would not get drugs, they would get flowers instead. That is what is contained in this statement. I didn't do anything that is stated in that way. I never sold drugs to anybody or uh, scammed anybody to give you uh, 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 flour uh, uh, saying that it is drugs. I didn't do anything like that and I've never sold any drugs to anybody. Uh, so your testimony is that the system, the NIA manufactured your statement and tortured you to accept the statement and forced you to testify as per this statement and they got you to bribe them, that is the DPP, for bail so that you can jump bail and leave the country. Amunta NIAOLU, itilie fansun kumole kafunyo maya asafe, between natete fanamuta ye forseto sondi wola ke kalindi, in a case of a kid, or a yole dunke silo, a million dita kama, a bit of a column, handful, bring quarter in a table to Momena, or to Molet for another bank of late at a bell on you. That is your story. I'm on the way of Macamut, Catalan for now. That's the way it happened. Quite extraordinary. A Catacawa quote. We won't ask you any questions about the drug dealing. Our primary focus is your victimization. Nonetheless, an interesting story. No further questions, Mr. Chair. And uh, before you close, Mr. Chair, I would want to put in a few documents. Please proceed on those ones. Uh, the protected information seat should be exhibit 177D. D as in David. As in David. Okay. And uh, the 
statement he gave at the NIA should be Exhibit 177E. With your permission, Mr. Chair, we admit them as suggested. A request granted, Council. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Sarabasanaja, for coming to testify before the Commission. Chairman, I remember Mr. Silabasamate. I saw that can ask you there are concerns you have to know. I am a gruesome testimony concerning babies. Aketa said there are little men. Yeah, long ago, I think I have been saying that back then, men kept on being an old lot. Our mandate period is 1994 July to. To January 2017. Until now, what we to make bondi. Well, in 1994, Ghana 2017. During that period, which NIA directors general did you meet? We which you know, it is in NIA director general to my new language. And what subjects did you discuss with them? And during the same period, and what are which are clearly in color? 1994 to 2017. Come 1994, come 2017. Did you have the opportunity to meet with them, uh, President Yaya Jame, and uh, what was it that you had discussed with Yame personally? For the inner silo, so to the Natara kita fana leo nyoje sai Allah nyoje ukono anata kacha mungu ni mungu lela wanyoje uwe wengu. You have the floor, please. Silang bunda ile ringo fele yeye. Nte silaba samate. Mi silaba samate. Nte nene ma ya ya jamme jenya fanola. Yaman ke televisionoti. I've never seen ya ya jamme with my eyes naked except on the television. Yaman ke na tambe to duroneje. Or just seeing him passing by, I've never sat down with Yaya Jamme in my whole life. It never happened. It's a record from State House, Kafoko Silabana, Adelani, Yaya Jamme, Besiri. They will never be able to show any record from State House which will show that I have met Yaya Jamme because it never happened in my life. Never, it never took place. Secondly, the NIA director, I never, I never sat down with him to the point of discussing. Except for the case of these babies, when he told me that, Never uh, talk to anybody about these babies. Never say it to anybody. Yes, yes that's what I can answer to your questions. And with regard to babies that may be used for sacrifice in Kanilai, you got that information exclusively from Vali. Yes, I got all those, all that information from Mfali. Thank you very much, indeed. Commissioner, if you have any questions, Deputy, you have the floor, please. Oh, Deputy Commissioner, uh, would Deputy Chairman, will I can Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Samate. Mr. I have one question. You can clean the bamboo. When you were carrying out the gruesome acts of clearing dismembered bodies, what do you mean? Ibo do kujawo ke kang kawo mo hadamadi kuntolo ke ke kafunyo. Where was your son? Idingo le abenu mintole. Abenu endo ni insecurity ulu ulu diata ba kelele. He was there because later on he was very used to the security who were there. So whenever I tell him to sit down uh, near the security, he will sit down there. Or if I tell the security people, please take care of him for me, they always take care of him. Thank you. Okay, Numbara. Yeah, yeah. 
your son was never shown any of those body parts. Sometimes he follows me. But sometimes that area is not very clear to me, but sometimes he follows me. Come on, Samba, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Chairman. Um, Silaba, what I want to ask you about is Deputy Chairman, I demand him Our Deputy Chairperson touched a little bit on that area. This child, because since I came to know, uh, uh, since I, I, I became aware of myself in the Gambia here, a father has never been incarcerated whereby the son will go and f stay with him. At least, uh, I don't know if you are in the but I don't know if you are in the I think they asked or they demanded something from you. In, the, in, 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 in which case, uh, whereby they will bring this child and uh, allow him to stay with you. I want you to clarify that portion. It's all possible. Yes, it's all part of the same story. Because when they finally made me agree, as Louis told me, yes, if you agree, we will give you chances. That the time when I was given a laptop, my telephones were returned to me, and I was allowed also to have my child near me. My second question is about these babies. Because as a nurse, if you have a sick person, and you know that this person is a pregnant woman, when she delivers or after childbirth, if she has an escort, somebody who came along with her, you should call the escort and inform the escort that well the lady that you came with has uh, delivered a child. If the child is alive, you inform the escort that well she delivered a male child or a female child. But these people whose babies were carried away. Well, where are there nobody who asks for this baby, saying that, where is my baby? Is, she or, is he or alive or dead or something like that? Well, I cannot answer that part. Because because I don't know the, the parents of those babies because I was not present when these babies were connected. Okay. So I cannot say this is the mother or this is the father of the baby. Your, your question is very, very important, but I cannot answer the question because I was not there. Okay, uh, Mr. Samate, thank you very much. My greetings to you on, on, on your testimony. I want to ask about your child who was with you at the NIA. When you were transferred to mile two at the central prison, what happened to the child? Where did you take him to? And how long were you at mile two? 
I spent only a day at the central prison and I became very, very sick there. So that very day, they took me to uh, the hospital. I spent only one night there. So after I was taken to the hospital, when I recovered, they took me back to the NIA where they left me. Okay, America. Thank you. Come join me, Imam Jal, you have a four points. Imam Jal, what do you have to do in color? Witness, Kosedo. You have said that you have never met Yaya Jame. I call the name Yaya Jame, Imam Jal, Imam Jal, Imam Jal. And it seems most of your answers are are forgotten or I don't know. How did you get involved in this mess? Can you explain to the commission, please? First of all, the commission will be able to well, except if I ask Yaya Jamme about it, what okay. happened, what brought me into this mess? I have never seen him, I never sat with him, now uh, 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 it's just I saw myself in this. Thank you. Um, Mamsi, you have the floor, please. Mamsi, you have the floor, Thank you very much. I'm asking you about your child. When you were running to leave the country, when you absconded, where did you leave your child? Well, he's a European. Uh, uh, he is not a citizen of this country. I went along with him. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Silaba. Samate, if you have any concluding remarks to make, please proceed to make them now. Sai Silaba Samate, ni fana yuko makamu msoto ibela dia mo kumfala menula sila ifana nsi tente ni ulufu. Na kumakamu lava hule mnyenti ko ala baraka. What I will say finally is that my sincere thanks to you. You are doing a very good job. So that all what has transpired here uh, in bad things shouldn't happen again. It has been very difficult for me to sit in front of you here. Well, true, it, these are things which happened which in the past. I never wanted to reveal these things. Because why? 90% of my family are not, are not citizens of this country. So, Today, what I am afraid of is because I know that they are sitting down and watching this, what's happening here, saying that this is what happened to our father before, which he never even told us. Maybe several to attend the SI menu before. Maybe in, in the form of writing what Esa saw before, I left out a lot of things to defend my family so that they will not see this country as a very bad place so that they will never come back here to me again. But at this moment, but at this moment where I am sitting right now, a lot of things came out of me which didn't happen before because I never thought that I will reveal all what I said here. It was hard for me, but I will say thank you very much. My advice is going to be 
to help this country so that we will go along so that what happened will not reoccur in this country again. So that's what I mean by saying again, thank you. You are doing a very good job. Ah. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Samate. And uh, we should be the ones to be uh, very grateful to you for uh, coming to testify before the commission. Ulumbara baka Mr. Samate, and telefonanyan tafule ne inimbara puru isonta kanasi komiso nyati mula kelase de yaro kiyam. I wish you all the best and I hope um, you will recover uh, very well and recover soon. Mbedwale yefo alasi imakwe kekulu beso lo yandie Mbedwala fo isifan suto fanan jata kende ala karola Fo asike kote fanan alasi mentari yandie Thank you again for coming to testify Mbara koteke iso ndala kanasi ya rola We will now take a one hour lunch break and resume at 3 p.m. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all
zero tasks. Who make any real me fake? Can more of perfect tasks? Can more of a problem can I'm can more of a problem with picture? Book a middle of fake and a new law. Keep a last with fee. Miss V Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and lot more. Us at Kololi New Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good. When we touch down, but I broke down. Yamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.
เงินฟันเลยคิดแค่ละ2020เลยว่าเด็ดว้าวฟีลแบบไม่คิดฟันคิดสีโรชัสเพอร์เฟกต์สกินสกินแค่สาวสุนเอกนิ่งคนเดียวเดี๋ยวแฟร์ร็อกบลูหาดีกันดีใจไหมงั้นทำแบบทัศน์เดบลิงซอนนอลอนทำแบบโดนเฮเซลเบลล์ล่ะแกหุ่มเอเนวมาเล่นคอนนักไวจูสินคิสคอมมิโนโกเกย์เดียวแค่เด็กอังค่าจูสินคิสลูรูเฮลทำเงินปิงเงินดิโอฟิงเงินดิโอสกินแค